Hi everyone, Nathan here and welcome back to part 6 of my Hypercube Evolution 3D printer build. In this build part, I'll be going over my wiring of the Hypercube Evolution printer using the MKS Genboard and Marlin. I will leave a link in the description where you can download my firmware configuration. In this video, I will not be going over how the AC wiring was achieved on this printer. I highly recommend that you purchase a ready-made printer like the TiVo Flash or the Creality Ender 3 if you do not have a good understanding of how electrical circuits work. Most importantly, never work on electrical wiring with the power connected. As I am not going to be using the MKS board long term, my connections used to attach the board are not all the correct format. In a future video, I will be switching to a Duet Wi-Fi board so say posted. Alright, let's get started. First, we will look at the end stops and thermistor connections. These connections are pretty straightforward. My machine has been configured to home in the minimum direction on all three axes. All three end stops are connected to the corresponding minus end stop port. The thermistor for the hot end is connected to A13. And the heat bed thermistor is connected to A14. For the motors, I have opted to reassign the E1 stepper output to be the second Z axis motor output. For the X and Y stepper, I just rotated the connections until the motors moved in the right direction. Initially for the extruder I am using the clone Titan extruder. To get the correct direction I just rotated the connection also. On the power side I have 24 volts from the power supply coming into the power on the board making sure to get the correct polarity. As I am using an AC heat bed, I have wires running from the heat bed output to a solid state relay. These wires as a result are just supplying an on off signal and not the actual load to the heat bed. So they can be a much lighter gauge wire. The fan output is wired to run the hot end part cooling fan. The E1 hot end output has been reassigned to be the hot end cooling fan. This has been reassigned from a heater cartridge in the Marlin firmware. Next the E0 output is wired to the hot end heater cartridge. Finally we have the two grey connectors that run to the smart graphics display that allows us to operate the 3D printer without a computer. In my case, I had to cut the locating tab of one connector and rotate it 180 degrees to get the screen to display properly. If you would like to learn more about how the inputs are reassigned for the part fan and the second Z motor, please check out my blog post in the description for more information. For an in-depth guide in configuring the Marlin firmware, I highly recommend the video by Tom Sandlander which I have linked in the description. If you need help calibrating your motor steps I recommend you have a look at 3D Maker Noob's video which is also in the description. This concludes a run through of the wiring configuration on my Hypercube Evolution 3D printer. In the next video we will run through what has been done to modify the Mark III hot end by Joseph Prusa to be able to be mounted on the Hypercube Evolution printer along with some test prints. Please be sure to like, subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when the next part of this build is made available. If you have any thoughts or comments on this video, please make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section below as I want to make videos that help empower you to build and make anything.